Hi guys, welcome to the Max 3D Design. Uh, first, I want to say thank you very much for subscribing my channel. It's just uh, amazing how fast we get to 1000 subscribers. And today I wanted to share with you a quick tutorial how to replace a face, uh, let's say with a simple primitive box. So here I created device that will show me the weather, time, and basically I make an enclosure with this kind of legs you know that it will stand on the table pretty much soon i'm gonna release the video about this i call it wi-fi info unit nana and i have wi-fi info unit mini so let's get started so let's create a simple primitive let's say box okay now we have a box let's enter create form menu right here so basically you cannot select nothing from this box now but from utilities we have convert function all what we have to choose here is b rep face to t splines so then we're selecting face let's select the bottom face this one now it's asking us how many faces you want to have like uh, let's say x and y so i want to have six faces it all depends on your needs so i want one square kind of to be in the center because if i have four by four and i will start to extruding only four pieces uh, let me show you so if i have four by four i will start to extrude these four pieces um, then the way the t-splines goes they just gonna make a, a circle and then it will be quite hard to replace the face so let's make six by six and then I hit OK. Now let's create some symmetry so that we have identical faces. OK. And now basically all what we have to do just to extrude this part, not extrude edit form, but I mean move it around. So I press Alt, extrude it a little bit. Let's make it slightly bigger, maybe a little bit taller. It doesn't really matter depends on your needs what exactly do you need from that so let's say i'm happy with this result i click ok finish form so now we have two bodies one is like a face body and another one is solid so let's switch off the face body okay and then from modify drop down menu we have to choose replace face so i choose this face and then target face let's switch on back our body and then the target face will be this one, but we choose it from here so that it selects entire face. So I click once, it's selected, and I click OK. And that's it. Basically, now we have a solid body with replaced face. I mean, you can use this function to make some decorations, uh, a lot of uses of this replace face function. And to prove it that this is the actually solid body, we can just do from our section analysis test. And as you can see, it is a solid body. So that's it for this tutorial. Thank you very much for watching. And please comment below if you find this tutorial useful. Take care and have a great modeling. Yeah.